Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today I've got a quick little tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the kernel in pretty much any Ubuntu-based distribution. Now I'm on uh, Ubuntu Mate 14.04, but uh, if you're on, you know, standard Ubuntu 14.04, this will work, or, you know, even on, say, 14.10, um, like I said, any Ubuntu-based distribution is the same method is going to work. So all the Linux Mint people out there, this is going to work for you as well. Uh, Linux Lite people, this will work for you. And, you know, 1404 came out with kernel 313, which isn't incredibly old, but even when it came out, it wasn't the latest kernel. So, you know, here we are almost a year later, and kernel development has been really progressing quick so you know the 313 kernel that I mean you could consider that an old kernel now now for a lot of people it's not going to matter but if you've got a newer piece of hardware uh, the older kernel may not work as well for you as well there's been a lot of bug fixes there's been a lot of improvement especially for those of you that have uh, the newer uh, Intel processors there's been a lot of improvements as far as power usage and and other sorts of things so there are good reasons to go and upgrade um, and really you know it's not that hard to do. We're going to do it all in the terminal, um, but like I said, it's not that hard. I will leave down in the uh, show description, I will leave uh, a list of the commands that you need. And the thing to, be, to, to pay attention to is there's a different set of commands for 32-bit versus 64-bit, so make sure that you use the correct one. Uh, if you use the wrong one, you will totally screw up your system, and at that point, your best bet is going to be a fresh install. So, I've got my terminal open here. Let me go and just copy over. I've got my list of notes over on this other screen, and I'm just going to copy line by line. Bring it right on over. Just copy and paste. Essentially, you've got three lines that you're going to put into the terminal. And this is uh, the kernel that we're putting in right now is 318.5. Now, just a couple of days ago, 319 came out. Um, and while I could go and put the 319 kernel in, I'm, I'm a little, since this is my main desktop, I'm a little leery for putting the absolute newest kernel in. I usually wait for like, you know, at least the point one to come out just so that if there are bugs, I want them to be fixed before I use it on my main desktop. Now, uh, you know, as far as putting it into, you know, one of my testing rigs or whatever, like, you know, that sort of thing, that's a different story. But my main desktop, since, you know, I need to get work done on this desktop, um, you know, I'll save the, the looking for bugs for, uh, for uh, you know, another computer. Okay, so anyway, we've got all this put in. It's all processed. Um see where's my net okay now we're going to do an actually uh, do, do the actual install I was wrong it's it's actually four lines that we'll put into the terminal paste that in there it's going to ask you for your password and just let it do its thing and when this is all said and done when you're all finished you will need to reboot your system and you will be running the the uh, um, in this case the 318.5 kernel, and that's essentially it. Uh, as always, uh, be sure to leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below, and um, give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you on the next show.